Yes, my, my son, Narciso Morales, was 17 when he was um, incarcerated. Rosalinda expected her son to come home in three years. He was in Preston, and the uh, very first fight, I said, son, what are you doing? You know, he goes, mom, they're adding like six months. I said, please don't get into any trouble because we want you to come home. And he did too. Uh, my name is uh, Narciso Morales. I was in the system for a total of uh, seven and a half years. I got about, I want to say uh, about four years off of time ads. Prison staff can add time, delaying a youth's parole consideration for up to a year without due process. It's hard to know what's going on. You feel um, scared. You feel like you don't know what's going on with your child. Time ads are a major reason why California youth serve the longest sentences in the nation. He goes, Mom, I want to go to school. They say they have a good program. You know, I want to um, graduate. He hadn't graduated at that time. Um, he goes, I can do all kinds of things. You know, I want to prepare myself. And that was his way of thinking at that time. But add-on after add-on after add-on, there was no way for him to come out. Eliminating time ads would save California millions and reunite families. We can end wasteful and abusive time ads now. Join our movement to stop time ads today.